Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today. Tuesday, August the 5th, 2014, and as always, thank you for taking time to watch the video, retweet, post, subscribe, and develop and grow along with me around the world. So um, I want to tell you that um, I'm going to get to the numbers and stuff first, but I want to say probably about a year ago, I utilized some of your questions and your um, your longings and desires for information for um, this channel and I would kind of echo some of the things back and do some teachings off of that and I want to and I have been doing that with a lot of my development because people were privately asking me questions and they those things ended up becoming what I talked about and, and would talk about and teach about and develop about so today is another person who I do know personally um, I'm going to talk about a situation going on with them, um, but I wanted to say you can start posting, and you've got to be listen carefully, not on the YouTube place. I'm not going to be pulling information from there. It's just too challenging to where it comes from, um, nor am I going to do it on my personal page, but on Intuitive Mitchell, facebook.com forward slash Intuitive Mitchell, that is my fan page. That is where I'm now starting to funnel most of my work. That's where all my posts start from and go out from there. So Intuitive Mitchell, you can message me there if you have questions about how to develop or um, you know, this is not really going to be a place for me to give you readings. Um, if, if you post something and it's about a loved one who crossed over or something going on in your life, I may utilize it, but like my friend Jamie, she's going to, she allows spirit to guide her to the ones that she is going to talk about. And that's what I will do as well. So I may get a hundred posts and only one person gets their information put on there. But again, it's not designed to get a free reading. Every day I do a video for you to grow and to learn. We have Cosmic Caffeine on Sunday nights if you want to call in and get a reading there. And then on I'm on you know at least one or two radio shows a month. Tonight I'm on A World Awakening. And next Friday I'm on um, Jessica's. I'm starting to sweat. So someone's healing is coming their way. Take the healing. Take the healing. Woo, it's working up a sweat. So, um, whew, yeah, please take the healing. It's coming through fast. <sighs> or the hot flashes. I am 48, but... I don't think I have hot flashes. So take the healing. And then feel free to go to um, facebook.com, Intuitive Mitchell. That's where you can post. Any other place, I'm totally going to ignore um, because I need to funnel them. So, and not get overwhelmed. So today is number five, number five, shifting, changing, moving number. That is our hero font. Um, that is our Pope. That is our faith card. Uh, that is about our belief system, our religious institutions, our constructs of what we live within. Our faith, you know, and just our spirituality as well. Also, it's number 20 if you had all the numbers up today. And 20 is our um, uh, judgment card, which is all about being freed from the things that are holding you back. Just those two numbers right there would show me that, you know what? You might start be moving out of the old ways of believing the fear-based ways of believing into something more free. And 20 also boils down to number two, which is our high priestess. She is knowledgeable. She is wise. She is knowing. She's very intuitive. Um, she's someone who I strive to be like. She's somebody who, a card that I will embody, so to speak. So that energy is available to you today. And I'm going to pull a Lenormand card to go along with that. And that card is the woman card. This is number 29, which is 11. Powerful number. It's also Ace of Space, which is Ace of Swords, which is about new idea, new thought, which goes along with, you know, probably breaking free. So this is really about you today. If you're a man, this can be about the other person in your life, or it can be about you as well. Most likely this is you, the person sitting in front of um, a psychic and a medium, the querent. All right. And then the tarot card to go along with it. Hold on, just in case. Hold well, on, I'm remembering it. Um, the tarot card to go along with it is going to be the sun card. And I knew it was coming up because I kept seeing it when I was shuffling before I turned the video on. I love it. So the sun card. This is bright, beautiful, number 19. Just had that yesterday. Bright, beautiful, starts, beginnings, fresh. So this really feels like, all right, today is today to just shed the old belief system. You know, if you believe you don't have money, shed it. There's abundance out there. If you believe you're stuck in the same kind of relationship, shed it. If you believe you've got to walk a certain walk, talk a certain certain talk because of a religious organization that you're part of, might be time to shed it. 
but go gently into that path <laughs> because that's a tough one to walk out of. Believe me, I know. I was Nazarene. Um, so definitely work through that, shedding light, growing, maybe shedding some of the uh, old ways. So all that being said, let me dive into what I'm going to call the, the development part. So again, Intuitive Mitchell is the Facebook fan page that you can go message me on. Don't post it on the wall. Message me privately, um, and I leave names and details out. So uh, a friend of mine posted yesterday in a private group of just a few people that um, – she had an encounter as she went to bed the night before. Uh, and I'm just going to give brief details. Um, tired, restless, laid down to go to bed, felt a push, a, a, an assault, if you will, so much so that it moved her body and hit her head against like the headboard of the bed. So, you know, she was asking if anybody knew any, any, what that could be and if anybody's had personal experience. Let me first talk about my personal experience. So many, many moons ago, um, like probably 15 years ago, I remember waking up being pinned to the bed, my shoulders, my hips, everything pinned to the bed, something very heavy, dark, I'll even use the word evil because at the time that's what I thought it was, holding me down. First of all, when... Science tells us that when we're in a sleep, or a, there's the body paralysis, so you can't move. So even though I could have been pinned down, or it could be the body paralysis that comes along with it, or it could be a combination of both. Um, but I remember, and I couldn't speak or talk. You just kind of grumble because, again, the muscles are not allowed to work because you're in a kind of a spirit or a more deeper sleep state. Um, so sometimes that occurs. Sometimes when you're falling asleep, you're in and out of those, those brainwave areas where you can still move and you cannot. Sometimes we, we will jump, we will move, we will imagine, um, well not imagine, but we will, we will in dream time, in a, in a more across the veil time, feel something you know, that's there that we're encountering. I'm flying in my dreams. I'm having journeys with Sheldon in my dreams. You know, so sometimes you may have a dream that you're still kind of conscious and you physically move yourself because you still have that muscle movement. Um, I do believe that, you know, there is the possibility for ghosts, spirits, as people call it evil, whatever you want to call it. I do believe that that is possible. I feel in spirit, I've been asking spirit, you know, what was this? I, I keep hearing the words calling in. So I think sometimes we allow, we call in, I'm going to use the words that I'm hearing, we mess with things, um, entities, uh, stuff that are, is lower vibration. So I'm going to be speaking more low vibration, high vibration. But also something that is very beautiful and high vibration, if all of a sudden you wake up and there's an angel that you maybe you've never seen before or you've never seen anything like that standing at the end of the bed, you're going to be freaked out. So there's going to be an element of fear at that moment because it's something new. It's something you're experiencing. It's a vibration you're probably not used to. Um, I think, you know, my friend uh, was not that at all. It feels more like, um, you know, use the word assault because um, that's what it felt like, you know. And, and for me, my response was, this is something I can't, you know, do in an email. But I said I would address um, what I feel some things could be in this. Um, and I will get to you know chat with this person and do a little give and take to find out where they were before that. Because, you know, if you are in a distraught place, if you are in a place of low vibration, worry, frustration, you know, if you come home from an all-night, you know, drinking binge, you know, alcohol brings you down into a dense vibration a lot of times, can put you in a depressive state. Not that I know anything about my friend or she might have been uh, that aspect, but I'm just giving all aspects teaching. Um, you know, just like watching the movie The Conjuring. You know, I believe all that stuff and even more happened to those people. But again, they're in a house full of a lot of teenage girls you know, going through puberty, going through typical teenage girl stuff. You know, there will be gossip. There will be heavy, dense vibration. There will be a lot of things that can attract and draw. When I watch Ghost Hunters and things like that, you know, they're calling in. They're bringing the vibration. They're, you know, uh, uh, you know manifesting, creating all this stuff. Um, and I think that the, the heavier, dense vibration things are out there as well. And if you start vibrating with it, you're going to draw it in and call it in. Not that, again, not that that's what my friend did, but I, I don't know. I don't know where, where she was at this point, what she was doing, thinking, et cetera, et cetera. 
So, but the bottom line is if you feel something like this, first thing you want to do is stay in a place of high, high vibration. So take yourself up into a place of gratitude. You know, put yourself in a realm of protection. You know, put on some music that's more high vibration. And But the moment you, if you turn the lights off again and you live alone and you start getting fearful and scared, that's like, ding, 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 come on, you know, low vibration, come in. So you want to stay in a place of high vibration, you know, saging, cleansing, clearing. Those are all things that you are setting the intention of higher vibration. Um, and that's how I would work. Uh, there are many, many different ways to do all this. But um, just, again, stay in a place of high vibration. So... All that being said, um, once again, if you have some ideas and questions about, you know, tarot, pendulum, tea leaf readings, you know, ghosts, aliens, whatever, you know, I, I, if I don't have experience with it, I can check in with spirit um, or guide you to a, a right place to look up. But you can post those questions on um, facebook.com forward slash intuitive Mitchell. That's where I will accept them. Not intuitive.messenger, which is my other Facebook page. It's more of a friend page. Not on the YouTube channel here. Um, the YouTube channel, when you post at the bottom, that's just a hard place for me to go in and reply. It really is. It's just a, an odd one. But I do try to like or reply and let you know that I read it. So all that being said, tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am on A World Awakening. Uh, you should see more of those posts and links to that as the day goes by from me or from Andrea Perone. And Andrea Perone, Perrin, Andrea Perrin is the oldest daughter from the movie The Conjuring. So this is her radio show along with George Lopez. Um, so have an amazing day. Talk to you later. Check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. Bye-bye.